a blood-like substance found in Isabel's bedroom. Repeat, found on the floor of the six-year-old bedroom. We are just learning that tonight. Similar stains also found on a white shower curtain stuffed inside the family car. Luminol testing done throughout, and tonight another clue. A man's Wolverine brand boot print discovered behind the home. Is there a crack in the case? Where is six-year-old Isabel? Straight out to ABC News correspondent, Neil Karolinski. Neil, thank you for being with us. What can you tell us about, first of all, I, I, I'm not crazy about the, the boot print. That could be anybody, anytime. I'm concerned about the blood-like substance found in her bedroom and what was on that white shower curtain and why was a shower curtain in the car? Well, a lot of good questions. I mean, we have 550 pages of police documents that are released with all kinds of information, some of it relevant, some of it likely not. But of course, the standouts do include what is described in the documents as photographs of a blood-like stain in a middle bedroom on the east side of the house. We know from witnesses, also from blueprints that we've obtained of the house, that that was Isabel Celis's bedroom, the one where there is the blood-like substance. Now, what we don't know is what the lab analysis uh, told police if in fact it's come back yet about what exactly that was. We do know they took DNA from all of the relatives. They took a toothbrush and a hairbrush from Isabel to make a comparison. Is there a match? That is something that is not revealed. We also learned that there was in fact Neil Karlinski writing in her bedroom closet. We learned that too. Police scour this house inch by inch. Uh, the writing uh, on a bedroom closet, we have no reference point of that. Is that something a little girl writes on her wall or something more? There's no indications of a ransom Neil? note or of anything like Neil? that. Neil? Yes. Did your parents let you write on the wall? I can't speak for how other people raise their so children. That would I'm be the father a of a six year old. She does some things I don't like her to do also. Well, long story short, we learned that some type of message had been scrawled on the inside of the wall of Isabel's closet. We are also learning a blood-like substance found on the floor of her room. And based on everything we know, based on the exterior of the home and the blueprint that we obtained, that is her bedroom. What can you tell me? Neil Karlinski joining us tonight, everyone, ABC News correspondent, regarding a white shower curtain in that family car, the red car that was parked in the driveway, the car that wouldn't crank up, that nobody would use, that was parked in the driveway. We have video, pull it, Liz, of police removing fabric and pillows from the car tonight. We learned that fabric is a white shower curtain with similar stains on it, blood-like stains on it. Yeah, this is very curious. I, I was there right after the disappearance for more than a week, and we watched police just tearing apart that red car, just going through it methodically day after day. Now we know from these documents they did, in fact, find what they describe as a white hat and also a shower curtain inside with a brown or reddish-brown substance on it. Of course, that leads you to be curious as to whether that's blood. They say that it wasn't field tested. Again, we don't know what the lab results were on that. But as you mentioned, we have been told by police sources that red car never left the house. It was actually parked off to the side of the driveway, sort of adjacent, uh, and we're told it didn't run.